Games we love. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Sega Genesis. When Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was dominating the early 90s, it got its fair share of video games. I've covered the first Super Nintendo one before, but there's also a Sega Genesis version with the same title. Unlike the platformer Super Nintendo version, this one is actually a fighter. You could choose your favorite ranger and take on enemies one-on-one, -on -one, and then again in the Dino Megazord. Players can also experience the Green Candle storyline and face off against and defeat the Green Ranger, unlocking him and the Dragon Zord for the remainder of the game. It's a pretty shallow fighter, all things considered, but it plays well enough for it to be a fun afternoon game. It will definitely appeal to Power Rangers fans, and while some of the Rangers are just palette swaps of each other, they do have unique moves and the visuals are pretty solid overall, especially in the cutscenes. I dig Power Rangers and think that this game is a fun, casual play, and that's why it's a game we love. P.S. If you beat the game, you can see the Ultra Zord absolutely demolish Rita's Moon Palace, which is hilarious. Could you imagine being a little kid watching Rita's Palace get destroyed like that? Imagine if that happened on the show. Thank you so much for watching this Power Rangers game we love. If you like Power Rangers, way, way back in the early Teach Hero days, I did a Power Rangers Halloween special that you guys should check out because as of this release, it's spooky Halloween season. So go ahead and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.